Hi. In this chapter, we will discuss and configure device hostname, domain, login banner, message of the day, time zone, date and time in Palo Alto Firewall. Hostname of the firewall should be configured uniquely so that they are well recognized while working or managing devices. To configure hostname in Palo Alto, go to the device option and then click on management tab under setup section. Now edit general settings. Here you can give a unique host name to the device and can set up domain name as well. I am using PAVM as host name and software umpire.in as my domain. The next section is login banner. A login banner is optional text that you can add to the login page so that administrators will see information they must know before they log in. For example, you could add a message to notify users of restrictions on unauthorized use of the firewall. You can select force admins to acknowledge login banner option to force administrators to accept and acknowledge the statement before login into device. The next option is time zone. You can select your time zone from the list. My time zone is Asia slash Kolkata. In the next option, you can select your desired language. In my case, I'm using English. Next options are date and time. You can set date and time manually here. But if you are using NTP, then no need to set up time and date manually. You can also set GPS coordinates of your device. You can add longitude and longitude information of your Palo Alto firewall. So now just click on OK button. You can see that hostname, domain and other details are changed now. Now we will commit the changes and will try to log in into the device again to check if the banner is showing on login screen or not. As you can see that login banner is now showing on the login screen. So we have configured banner, domain and other option under general settings. Now we configure an other type of banner, which is just like a message for administrator, which is commonly called message of the day. To configure message of the day, we need to edit banner and messages option under management tab. Enter the message of the day. This can be up to 3200 characters. After you enter the message and click OK, administrators who subsequently log in and active administrators who refresh their browsers see the new or updated message immediately a commit isn't necessary. This enables you to inform other administrators of an impending commit that might affect their configuration changes. 
Based on the commit time that your message specifies, the administrators can then decide whether to complete, save, or undo their changes. You can set a header title for the message of the day dialog and other properties as well. Let's commit the changes and try to log in again. You can see that message of the day is showing in message dialog box. In the next chapter, we will configure DNS, NTP servers and zones.